This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 17, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially in a G1 geomagnetic storm for the last three hour period, according to NOAA and NASA. Take a look here at their KP index, their estimated planetary KP index. You'll see that for the last three hours, Earth has been in a geomagnetic storm. Now some of the other indicators actually say that we're in a G2 geomagnetic storm, i.e. the college KP index, and then that started with a geomagnetic disturbance. Our Fredericksburg KP index says that we're only in a geomagnetic disturbance Whereas our Boulder KP index, in fact, says that we are currently in a G1 geomagnetic storm. And prior to that, we were in a geomagnetic disturbance. But using the estimated planetary KP index, the model that NOAA and NASA just upgraded, we see that we are in a G1 geomagnetic storm with a KP5 index currently. Let's see what that looks like. Now quickly, I wanted to show you what must have caused this coronal mass ejection impact on Earth. It was one of these two X flares here, the X3.4 or the X2.9. One occurred on the, well, incoming limb, the other on the outgoing limb. Very hard to model either one of them for an impact on Earth. Probably the second one, the 2.9 on the outgoing limb, as that is where Earth's geomagnetic connection actually is made with our sun. Over to discover real time solar wind. You can see that impact here, right about 1240 UTC time. You can see the temperature jump up, solar winds jump from 4 to 494 about 100 kilometers per second but we do not see any reaction or any extra plasma which is baffling to me so this is a chronal mass ejection made of solar winds and no plasma plasma is below five all day long five centimeters cubed although our shields did perk up and they are fighting the solar winds as you can see in blue up here and we're currently still in that geomagnetic storm, if you will, G1, although it does look to be dwindling. To verify that, I had to go to our GO-16 magnetometer, and I see that we definitely hit storm levels and spiked right here over just the last three-hour period or so. With that said, folks, NASA never modeled a CME that would hit Earth from one of those two, although they seem to have gotten lucky with one of these slow play CMEs that just happens to start here on the 16th, 17th. Again, uh, the CMEs were not even modeled by NASA. This is their Iswa Goodard spiral. There was a press release from NOAA, and we'll take a look at that. Another chronal mass ejection struck Earth's magnetic field today. It arrived May 17th at 13.11 UTC time, causing a minor jolt on the USGS magnetometers in Boulder, Colorado. Despite the fact the impact was weak, it may yet cause a geomagnetic storm. It did. G1 class in the hours ahead as Earth passes through the chronal mass ejections magnetized awake there is an update it says update a g1 class geomagnetic storm is now currently officially underway 
God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.